In electromagnetism, absolute permittivity, often simply called permittivity, usually denoted by the Greek letter epsilon, epsilon is the measure of capacitance that is encountered when forming an electric field in a particular medium. More specifically, permittivity describes the amount of charge needed to generate one unit of electric flux in a particular medium. Accordingly, a charge will yield more electric flux in a medium with low permittivity than in a medium with high permittivity. Permittivity is the measure of a material's ability to store an electric field in the polarization of the medium. The SI unit for permittivity is farad per meter F per meter or Fm-1. The lowest possible permittivity is that of a vacuum. Vacuum permittivity, sometimes called the electric constant, is represented by epsilon zero and has a value of approximately 8.85 times 10 minus 12 F per meter. The permittivity of a dielectric medium is often represented by the ratio of its absolute permittivity to the electric constant. This dimensionless quantity is called the medium's relative permittivity, sometimes also called permittivity. Relative permittivity is also commonly referred to as the dielectric constant, a term which has been deprecated in physics and engineering as well as in chemistry. Kappa equals epsilon r equals epsilon epsilon zero. Display style kappa equals var epsilon underscore r equals frac var epsilon var epsilon underscore zero. By definition, a perfect vacuum has a relative permittivity of exactly 1. The difference in permittivity between a vacuum and air can often be considered negligible, as kappa air equals 1.0006. Relative permittivity is directly related to electric susceptibility which is a measure of how easily a dielectric polarizes in response to an electric field, given by chi equals kappa Minus one display style chi equals kappa minus one, otherwise written as epsilon equals epsilon r epsilon zero equals one plus chi epsilon zero. Display style var epsilon equals var epsilon underscore mathrm r var epsilon underscore zero equals one plus chi var epsilon underscore zero. Topic units. The standard SI unit for permittivity is farad per meter f per meter or fm minus one. F m equals C V M equals C two N M two equals a two S four kilogram M three equals N V two Display style frac text f text m equals frac text c text v c d o t text m equals frac text c caret two text n c d o t text m caret two equals frac text a caret two c d o t text s caret four text kilogram c d o t text m caret three equals frac text n text v caret two Topic. Explanation In electromagnetism, the electric displacement field D represents how an electric field E influences the organization of electric charges in a given medium, including charge migration and electric dipole reorientation. Its relation to permittivity in the very simple case of linear, homogeneous, isotropic materials with instantaneous response to changes in electric field is D equals epsilon e display style math bf d equals var epsilon math bf e where the permittivity epsilon is a scalar if the medium is anisotropic the permittivity is a second rank tensor 
In general, permittivity is not a constant, as it can vary with the position in the medium, the frequency of the field applied, humidity, temperature, and other parameters. In a nonlinear medium, the permittivity can depend on the strength of the electric field. Permittivity as a function of frequency can take on real or complex values. In SI units, permittivity is measured in farads per meter F per meter or A2S4 kg minus 1 M minus 3. The displacement field D is measured in units of coulombs per square meter C per square meter, while the electric field E is measured in volts per meter V per meter. D and E describe the interaction between charged objects. D is related to the charge densities associated with this interaction, while E is related to the forces and potential differences. Vacuum permittivity The vacuum permittivity epsilon zero, also called permittivity of free space or the electric constant, is the ratio d e in free space. It also appears in the Coulomb force constant. K e equals one four pi epsilon zero. Display style k underscore e equals frac one four pi var epsilon underscore zero. Its value is epsilon zero equals d e f one c zero two mu zero equals one thirty five nine hundred fifty two hundred seven one hundred forty nine point four seven two 7056 pi f per meter approximately equals 8.854 187 8176 times 10 minus 12 f per meter Display style var epsilon underscore zero stackrel mathrm def equals frac one c underscore zero caret two mu underscore zero equals frac one thirty five nine hundred fifty two hundred seven one hundred forty nine point four seven two seven thousand fifty six pi text f per meter approximately eight point eight five four one hundred eighty seven eight thousand one hundred seventy six l dots times ten caret minus twelve text f per meter where c0 is the speed of light in free space micro 0 is the vacuum permeability the constants c0 and mu0 are defined in si units to have exact numerical values shifting responsibility of experiment to the determination of the meter and the ampere the approximation in the second value of epsilon 0 above stems from pi being an irrational number Relative permittivity The linear permittivity of a homogeneous material is usually given relative to that of free space, as a relative permittivity epsilon r also called dielectric constant, although this term is deprecated and sometimes only refers to the static, zero-frequency relative permittivity. In an anisotropic material, the relative permittivity may be a tensor, causing birefringence. The actual permittivity is then calculated by multiplying the relative permittivity by epsilon zero. Epsilon equals epsilon r epsilon zero equals one plus chi epsilon zero. Display style var epsilon equals var epsilon underscore mathrm r var epsilon underscore zero equals one plus chi var epsilon underscore zero, where chi frequently written chi e is the electric susceptibility of the material. The susceptibility is defined as the constant of proportionality, which may be a tensor, relating an electric field e to the induced dielectric polarization density p such that p equals epsilon Zero chi e display style math bf p equals var epsilon underscore zero chi math bf e, 
where epsilon zero is the electric permittivity of free space. The susceptibility of a medium is related to its relative permittivity epsilon r by chi equals epsilon r minus one. Display style chi equals var epsilon underscore mathrm r minus one. So in the case of a vacuum, chi equals zero. Display style chi equals zero. The susceptibility is also related to the polarizability of individual particles in the medium by the clausius masotti relation. The electric displacement d is related to the polarization density p by d equals epsilon zero e plus p equals epsilon zero one plus chi e equals epsilon r epsilon zero e Display style math bfd equals var epsilon underscore zero math bf e plus math bf p equals var epsilon underscore zero one plus chi math bf e equals var epsilon underscore mathrm r var epsilon underscore zero math bf e. The permittivity epsilon and permeability micro of a medium together determine the phase velocity v equals c n of electromagnetic radiation through that medium. Epsilon mu equals 1 v 2 display style var epsilon mu equals frac 1 v caret 2 topic practical applications topic determining capacitance The capacitance of a capacitor is based on its design and architecture, meaning it will not change with charging and discharging. The formula for capacitance is written as C equals epsilon A D display style C equals var epsilon frac A D where a display style A is the area of one plate D display style d is the distance between the plates and epsilon display style var epsilon is the permittivity of the medium between the two plates for a capacitor with relative permittivity kappa display style kappa it can be said that c equals kappa epsilon 0 a D display style c equals kappa var epsilon underscore zero frac a d. Topic: Gauss's law. Permittivity is connected to electric flux and by extension electric field through Gauss's law. Gauss's law states that for a closed Gaussian surface S phi e equals Q E N C Epsilon zero equals S E D A Display style phi underscore E equals FRAC Q underscore text E N C var epsilon underscore zero equals oint underscore S Math BF E C D O T Mathem D Math BF O where Phi E Display style phi underscore e is the net electric flux passing through the surface q e n c display style q underscore text e n c is the charge enclosed in the Gaussian surface e display style math bf e is the electric field vector at a given point on the surface and d a Display style mathrm d math bf a is a differential area vector on the Gaussian surface.
If the Gaussian surface uniformly encloses an insulated, symmetrical charge arrangement, the formula can be simplified to E A cos theta equals Q E N C epsilon zero Display style E A cos theta equals FRAC Q underscore text E N C var epsilon underscore zero where theta display style theta represents the angle between the electric field vector and the area vector if all of the electric field lines cross the surface at 90 degrees the formula can be further simplified to e equals q e n c epsilon 0 Display style e equals frac q underscore text e n c var epsilon underscore zero a because the surface area of a sphere is four pi r two display style four pi r caret two the electric field a distance r display style r away from a uniform spherical charge arrangement is e equals q epsilon 0 o equals q epsilon 0 4 pi r 2 display style e equals frac q var epsilon underscore 0 a equals frac q var epsilon underscore 0 left 4 pi r caret 2 right E equals Q four Pi Epsilon zero R two equals K Q R two Display style E equals FRAC Q four Pi var epsilon underscore zero R carrot two equals FRAC K Q R carrot two where k display style k is coulomb's constant 9.0 times 10 9 m f display style sim 9.0 times 10 caret 9 text m text f this formula applies to the electric field due to a point charge, outside of a conducting sphere or shell, outside of a uniformly charged insulating sphere, or between the plates of a spherical capacitor. <laughs> <laughs> Dispersion and causality In general, a material cannot polarize instantaneously in response to an applied field, and so the more general formulation as a function of time is P T equals epsilon zero minus infinity T chi T minus T E T D T display style math bfp t equals var epsilon underscore zero int underscore inf t caret t chi left t t right math bf e left t right d t. That is, the polarization is a convolution of the electric field at previous times with time-dependent susceptibility given by chi delta t. The upper limit of this integral can be extended to infinity as well if one defines chi delta t. Topic zero for delta t chd delta t. It is convenient to take the Fourier transform with respect to time and write this relationship as a function of frequency. Because of the convolution theorem, the integral becomes a simple product p omega equals epsilon zero chi omega e omega display style math bf p omega equals var epsilon underscore zero chi omega math bf e omega. This frequency dependence of the susceptibility leads to frequency dependence of the permittivity. The shape of the susceptibility with respect to frequency characterizes the dispersion properties of the material. Moreover, the fact that the polarization can only depend on the electric field at previous times i.e. effectively chi delta t equals 0 for delta t
equals topic complex permittivity equals as opposed to the response of a vacuum the response of normal materials to external fields generally depends on the frequency of the field this frequency dependence reflects the fact that a material's polarization does not change instantaneously when an electric field is applied. The response must always be causal, arising after the applied field, which can be represented by a phase difference. For this reason, permittivity is often treated as a complex function of the angular frequency omega of the applied field. epsilon epsilon caret omega Display style var epsilon right arrow hat var epsilon omega. Since complex numbers allow specification of magnitude and phase, the definition of permittivity therefore becomes d zero e minus i omega t equals epsilon caret omega e. 0 e minus i omega t display style d underscore 0 e caret i omega t equals hat var epsilon omega e underscore 0 e caret i omega t where d0 and e0 are the amplitudes of the displacement and electric fields respectively i is the imaginary unit i2 equals minus 1 the response of a medium to static electric fields is described by the low frequency limit of permittivity, also called the static permittivity epsilon s, also epsilon dc. Epsilon s equals lim omega zero epsilon caret omega. Display style var epsilon underscore mathrm s equals lim underscore omega right arrow zero hat var epsilon omega. At the high frequency limit, the complex permittivity is commonly referred to as epsilon infinity. At the plasma frequency and below, dielectrics behave as ideal metals with electron gas behavior. The static permittivity is a good approximation for alternating fields of low frequencies, and as the frequency increases a measurable phase difference delta emerges between d and e the frequency at which the phase shift becomes noticeable depends on temperature and the details of the medium. For moderate field strength e0, d and e remain proportional, and epsilon caret equals d 0 e 0 equals epsilon e i delta display style hat var epsilon equals frac d underscore 0 e underscore 0 equals var epsilon e caret i delta since the response of materials to alternating fields is characterized by a complex permittivity it is natural to separate its real and imaginary parts which is done by convention in the following way epsilon caret omega equals epsilon omega plus i epsilon omega equals d 0 e 0 cuz delta plus i sin delta Display style hat var epsilon omega equals var epsilon omega plus i var epsilon omega equals left frac d underscore zero e underscore zero right left cos delta plus i sin delta right, where epsilon is the real part of the permittivity, epsilon is the imaginary part of the permittivity. Delta is the loss angle, the choice of sign for time dependence, E minus I omega T, dictates the sign convention for the imaginary part of permittivity. The signs used here correspond to those commonly used in physics, whereas for the engineering convention one should reverse all imaginary quantities. The complex permittivity is usually a complicated function of frequency omega, since it is a superimposed description of dispersion phenomena occurring at multiple frequencies. 
The dielectric function epsilon omega must have poles only for frequencies with positive imaginary parts, and therefore satisfies the kramers kronig relations. However, in the narrow frequency ranges that are often studied in practice, the permittivity can be approximated as frequency independent or by model functions. At a given frequency, the imaginary part, epsilon, leads to absorption loss if it is positive in the above sign convention and gain if it is negative. More generally, the imaginary parts of the eigenvalues of the anisotropic dielectric tensor should be considered. In the case of solids, the complex dielectric function is intimately connected to band structure. The primary quantity that characterizes the electronic structure of any crystalline material is the probability of photon absorption, which is directly related to the imaginary part of the optical dielectric function epsilon omega. The optical dielectric function is given by the fundamental expression epsilon omega equals 1 plus 8 pi 2 e 2 m 2 c v w c v e phi omega minus e minus phi omega plus e d x display style var epsilon omega equals 1 plus frac 8 pi caret 2 e caret 2 m caret 2 sum underscore c v in w underscore c v e b i g l var phi h b a r omega e var phi h b a r omega plus e big r d x in this expression, W C V E represents the product of the Brillouin zone average transition probability at the energy E with the joint density of states, J C V E, phi is a broadening function, representing the role of scattering in smearing out the energy levels. In general, the broadening is intermediate between Lorentzian and Gaussian, for an alloy it is somewhat closer to Gaussian because of strong scattering from statistical fluctuations in the local composition on a nanometer scale. Topic tensorial permittivity According to the Drude model of magnetized plasma, a more general expression which takes into account the interaction of the carriers with an alternating electric field at millimeter and microwave frequencies in an axially magnetized semiconductor requires the expression of the permittivity as a non-diagonal tensor, see also electrogyration, d omega equals, epsilon 1 minus i epsilon 2 o i epsilon 2 epsilon 1 o o o epsilon z, e omega display style math bf d omega equals begin v matrix var epsilon underscore 1 and i var epsilon underscore 2 and 0 i var epsilon underscore 2 and var epsilon underscore 1 and 0 0 and 0 and var epsilon underscore z end v matrix operator name math bf e omega if epsilon 2 vanishes then the tensor is diagonal but not proportional to the identity and the medium is said to be a uniaxial medium which has similar properties to a uniaxial crystal Topic. Classification of materials Materials can be classified according to their complex-valued permittivity epsilon, upon comparison of its real epsilon and imaginary epsilon components or, equivalently, conductivity, sigma, when accounted for in the latter. A perfect conductor has infinite conductivity, sigma. Topic. Infinity, while a perfect dielectric is a material that has no conductivity at all, sigma zero. This latter case of real-valued permittivity or complex-valued permittivity with zero imaginary component is also associated with the name lossless media. Generally, when sigma o one, we consider the material to be a low-loss dielectric, although not exactly lossless. Whereas sigma o one is associated with a good conductor, such materials with non-negligible conductivity yield a large amount of loss that inhibit the propagation of electromagnetic waves. Thus, are also said to be lossy media. Those materials that do not fall under either limit are considered to be general media. Topic. Lossy medium 
In the case of a lossy medium, i.e. when the conduction current is not negligible, the total current density flowing is J tot equals J C plus J D equals sigma E minus I omega epsilon E equals minus I omega epsilon carrot E Display style J underscore text tot equals J underscore mathem C plus J underscore mathem D equals Sigma E I omega var epsilon E equals I omega hat var epsilon E where Sigma is the conductivity of the medium Epsilon is the real part of the permittivity E is the complex permittivity the size of the displacement current is dependent on the frequency omega of the applied field E there is no displacement current in a constant field In this formalism the complex permittivity is defined as epsilon caret equals epsilon 1 minus i sigma omega epsilon equals epsilon minus i sigma omega display style hat var epsilon equals var epsilon left 1 i frac sigma omega var epsilon right equals var epsilon i frac sigma omega in general the absorption of electromagnetic energy by dielectrics is covered by a few different mechanisms that influence the shape of the permittivity as a function of frequency First are the relaxation effects associated with permanent and induced molecular dipoles. At low frequencies the field changes slowly enough to allow dipoles to reach equilibrium before the field has measurably changed. For frequencies at which dipole orientations cannot follow the applied field because of the viscosity of the medium, absorption of the field's energy leads to energy dissipation. The mechanism of dipoles relaxing is called dielectric relaxation and for ideal dipoles is described by classic Debye relaxation. Second are the resonance effects, which arise from the rotations or vibrations of atoms, ions, or electrons. These processes are observed in the neighborhood of their characteristic absorption frequencies. The above effects often combine to cause nonlinear effects within capacitors. For example, dielectric absorption refers to the inability of a capacitor that has been charged for a long time to completely discharge when briefly discharged. Although an ideal capacitor would remain at zero volts after being discharged, real capacitors will develop a small voltage, a phenomenon that is also called soakage or battery action. For some dielectrics, such as many polymer films, the resulting voltage may be less than 1-2% of the original voltage. However, it can be as much as 15-25% in the case of electrolytic capacitors or supercapacitors. Quantum mechanical interpretation In terms of quantum mechanics, permittivity is explained by atomic and molecular interactions. At low frequencies, molecules in polar dielectrics are polarized by an applied electric field, which induces periodic rotations. For example, at the microwave frequency, the microwave field causes the periodic rotation of water molecules, sufficient to break hydrogen bonds. The field does work against the bonds and the energy is absorbed by the material as heat. This is why microwave ovens work very well for materials containing water. There are two maxima of the imaginary component the absorptive index of water, one at the microwave frequency, and the other at far ultraviolet UV frequency. Both of these resonances are at higher frequencies than the operating frequency of microwave ovens. At moderate frequencies, the energy is too high to cause rotation, yet too low to affect electrons directly, and is absorbed in the form of resonant molecular vibrations. In water, this is where the absorptive index starts to drop sharply, and the minimum of the imaginary permittivity is at the frequency of blue light optical regime. At high frequencies, such as UV and above, molecules cannot relax, and the energy is purely absorbed by atoms, exciting electron energy levels. Thus, these frequencies are classified as ionizing radiation. 
while carrying out a complete ab initio that is, first principles modeling is now computationally possible, it has not been widely applied yet. Thus, a phenomenological model is accepted as being an adequate method of capturing experimental behaviors. The Debye model and the Lorentz model use a first order and second order respectively lumped system parameter linear representation such as an RC and an LRC resonant circuit. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Measurement. The relative permittivity of a material can be found by a variety of static electrical measurements. The complex permittivity is evaluated over a wide range of frequencies by using different variants of dielectric spectroscopy, covering nearly 21 orders of magnitude from 10-6 to 1015 Hz. Also, by using cryostats and ovens, the dielectric properties of a medium can be characterized over an array of temperatures. In order to study systems for such diverse excitation fields, a number of measurement setups are used, each adequate for a special frequency range. Various microwave measurement techniques are outlined in Chen et al. Typical errors for the hackey coleman method employing a puck of material between conducting planes are about 0.3%. Low frequency time domain measurements 10 to 103 hertz. Low frequency frequency domain measurements 10 to 106 hertz. Reflective coaxial methods 106 to 1010 hertz. Transmission coaxial method 108 to 1011 hertz quasi optical methods 109 to 1010 hertz terahertz time domain spectroscopy 1011 to 1013 hertz fourier transform methods 1011 to 1015 hertz at infrared and optical frequencies a common technique is ellipsometry Dual polarization interferometry is also used to measure the complex refractive index for very thin films at optical frequencies. See also Acoustic attenuation Density functional theory Electric field screening Green-Cubo relations Green's function many body theory Linear response function Rotational Brownian motion Electromagnetic permeability Notes <laughs>